everybody. We are ready to get going with today's webinar. Today we have five objectives to cover. First, we're going to talk about your mindset and how to put yourself in the best frame of mind when preparing yourself to contact your prospects. We'll also teach you to understand the mindset of your average lead so you can set proper expectations. Second, we're going to explain the best strategy for calling your prospects and introduce you to the rule of three calling strategy. Third, we're going to show you how to use listing alerts as an automatic way to stay in touch with your prospects. Fourth, we're going to revisit the listing postcard strategy that we implemented in your last session and discuss the role it plays in converting leads. Finally, we're going to show you how to find and connect with your prospects on Facebook. So let's get started. To make sure you're getting the most out of this course, I'll be asking a couple questions throughout. Anytime you see a blue question mark, that means it's your turn to answer. So our first question is, do you call new leads the same day they're received? If you do, why? And if you don't, why not? Take a moment to type your answers into the question box. So let me share a few of your responses. Nancy answered, um, I call same day. Uh, we have maybe call, mostly wait for them to call. And some said, internet leads are not their best. They may be called depending on the information that's left. Now here's an interesting fact for you. Most realtors miss the boat big time when it comes to lead follow-up. I've heard agents say, internet leads stink. Or I called them once and they never called back. Uh, or online leads are Mickey Mouse leads. But none of that is true. The perception is caused by failing to follow up with your leads properly. You'll be surprised how easy it is to convert your leads once you understand their mindset and learn techniques that help you easily engage them in conversation. And did you know that ideally online leads should be called within 20 minutes of the lead being captured for the greatest success in reaching that lead? So what makes that easier? Z57Go, our mobile platform, allows you to receive instant notifications when new leads are captured on your website. When you receive the notification, you have easy one-button options to call or email that lead right away. Online leads are very different than a client calling you on the phone or walking into your office. The average internet buyer will be searching for homes online for six to nine months, if not more, before they're ready to speak with an agent. So think about it this way. If you were going to buy a brand new $50,000 car, would you walk into a dealership? No, you take your time and research your options. That being said, we can easily assume that a buyer spending $250,000 or more on their new home can be expected to research their options for six to nine months. Expect this of your online leads, especially in today's market. Finally, only 10% of your internet leads will actually result in a home sale. While that sounds like a low number, when you look at the commission involved, you'll quickly see that it's really a great opportunity for you. The secret is you never know which leads are going to turn out to be that 10%. So you have to follow up with everyone consistently. So this should be your mindset. Online leads are only getting ready to speak with you. A buyer with cash in hand that wants to work with you, they're going to call you. Expect online leads to say, I'm just looking. Expect them not to be ready for a showing. Expect to teach them how to use the tools on your website to service their needs. Your goal is to become very skilled at getting into conversations with online leads. By reviewing your leads carefully, you'll be prepared to start a conversation. Now, before we get into your calling strategy, let's review the lead section of your MCC. Every lead captured on your Z57 website is stored in the leads area. 
leads that leave a telephone number are going to ask you to contact them by phone. So call them. But before you do, review the form source column for the lead. What this tells you is exactly where on your website the lead was captured. Leads marked uh, professional ad slash IDX will have additional leads uh, and details. By clicking the name or email address of the lead, you'll be able to review the property type that they're searching for. When following up with any lead, you'll want to know the form slash source where the lead is captured and be very aware of any additional details such as uh, their home search criteria. Calling your leads is the most important step to converting the lead into a conversation. Two-thirds of home buyers and sellers work with the agent they first speak with, but only 2% of sales occur on the first call. How many calls does it take on average to convert a lead into a sale? Nine calls. 80% of sales occur after the ninth interaction. So what does this mean to you? Don't just call your online lead once. You need to follow the rule of three calling strategy. And that strategy entails the day the lead is captured. Call the lead twice, about 20 minutes apart. Do not leave a voicemail the first day you call. Typically, a person who is not a realtor will not answer the phone for a number they don't know. But if the number calls them back 20 to 30 minutes later, they'll wonder, who is this? This process makes the lead more likely to pick up the phone. Therefore, on the first day, I want you to call a second time 20 to 30 minutes after the first call. Furthermore, I want you to continue following up and call each lead once a day for the next two days. This time, leave voicemails. Then, call each lead once a week for the following three weeks. Then call each lead once a month for the next three months. When calling leads, essentially you're applying for a job with someone that you've never met. Therefore, you need to be assertive, but sensitive to their mindset. Remember, chances are they're just looking. Your objective is to lower their guard and to start a conversation. All right, this is huge. When leaving a voicemail or speaking with a client, you want to deliver on five key topics of conversation. First, introduce yourself and remind the client of your website URL. Thank them for sharing information with you and visiting your website. Ask for feedback on your website to start a conversation. The leads form source will tell you what they're looking at. Inform the prospect of new information that you've sent them, perhaps a personal email, listing postcard, or listing alerts set up for this client. And then sell a feature of your website based on the form they filled out. Again, the leads form source will tell you what they're looking at. So if they were looking at homes for sale, uh, perhaps recommend the community or school reports to compare neighborhoods. After today's webinar, I'll give you access to some conversation starters, as well as a voicemail script you can use to make this process really easy. Our third secret is listing alerts. This secret makes use of home search criteria left by the lead and using that to keep in front of your prospects with exactly what they're looking for, which is homes. Now this can easily be done through listing alerts set up through your website IDX tool on your website. Even when you do not have their exact home search requirements, set them up on listing alerts for the type of home that you'll typically sell. When doing this, it's actually better to be wrong than right when sending homes to your clients. As we outlined with the five keys of conversation, when calling an online lead, you should inform the prospect of new information, like uh, listing alerts. If you are sending the wrong homes, that prospect may reach out to you and request that you refine the home search parameters. Listing postcards, 
the, which are the four secret to converting leads into conversations, will provide insight into lead engagement while at the same time giving more exposure to a listing in your portfolio. During your last course, you sent a listing postcard out to your entire book of business with your ZPro. Listing postcards provide insight into your leads engagement with you and your business. Today, I want to show you what exactly happened with that email. In the Marketing Control Center, I'm going to hover over Marketing and then click on Communication Stats. This area allows you to access stats on the listing postcards by clicking on the title of the email. Tracked for each postcard are total emails sent, opens, and clicks. Opens show exactly which leads opened and read the email. Clicks show exactly which leads not just opened the email, but also clicked back through to the website for additional information. Click on the details link next to any of the stats to see more information. After the webinar today, take a look at the results you received from the listing postcard we sent out during your last course. Take a look at your stats and look for trends. Pay attention to people who clicked back through to your website and follow up with them. So for example, Victoria there is a client from three years ago clicking back through to your website. What do you think that means? Chris here is a lead captured on the website three months ago, but you could never get him on the phone. Nevertheless, he is a solid lead and is opening your emails and looking at properties. He must be just looking. The fifth secret is using Facebook to find your prospects. Aside from being an amazing place to promote your business and generate more business exposure, with over 1 billion Facebook users, virtually everyone you know is on Facebook. In fact, 54% of, of Americans have a Facebook account. Even more staggering, a whopping 73% of online users have a Facebook account. And Facebook is growing by seven users a second. So today I'm going to teach you that Facebook is a great resource to learn more about your leads. Now let's talk about your leads. How much more empowered would you be if you knew that a prospect went to the same high school as you? Or worked at the same company as your last buyer or seller? You'd have the inside track on prospecting that lead. The process is simple. Copy the lead's email address or have it at the ready. When logged into Facebook, paste the email address into the search bar at the top of the Facebook page. Give Facebook a moment to recognize the email and display any resulting pages connected with that email address. And voila! Instantly you gain powerful knowledge about this lead. Perhaps the school they attended, their occupation, interests, uh, maybe even a photo or uh, friends in common. You can also use the lead's full name as the search criteria. Just be sure to match the city and state if Facebook returns results. Keep in mind, not every email address or email will, will return results. Some people may have multiple email addresses, and uh, depending on your lead's Facebook pri privacy settings, some information may not be accessible to you. The fortune is in the follow-up. You have to consistently follow through on executing these strategies to see results. Also, remember to prepare your mindset so that when you speak with a prospect or leave a voicemail, you deliver on five key topics of conversation. One, introduce yourself and remind the client of your website URL. Second, thank them. Third, ask for feedback. Fourth, inform the prospect of new information that you've sent them. And five, sell a feature. Accountability for this aspect of your marketing plan is to live, breathe, memorize, and implement the five key topics into every conversation. Use these topics daily when following up with leads, whether you're on the phone, sending an email, leaving a voicemail, or speaking with your prospect face-to-face. -face. As a reminder, you always have access to unlimited support at Z57. 
So please take notes of the different ways you can reach a marketing consultant to answer any questions or concerns that you have. The team is also great at coaching you to help you achieve the best possible results with your program. <music>